Oh, good morning, all you cool cats and kittens. It's your girl, Kirsten. Remember, that's Kirsten, not Kristen. Those who love me always get it right. Okay, followers, so as you know, I am an actor, and as you also know, all of my gigs for the foreseeable future are indefinitely canceled. So I'm just hanging out these days. World health crisis, you can't get me down. Let's make some A-R-T, that spells art. So I thought for the sake of art, I would make a little vid showing you everything I eat in a day while dutifully following my city's stay at home order. I was inspired to do this after watching Kelly Ripa's own Everything I Eat in a Day video. Oh my god, you guys, for breakfast, Kelly Ripa literally eats a green apple that's pulverized in a bullet blender with a tiny with a tiny dollop of almond butter. That's it. That's all she eats for breakfast. You know, she says it's very good. I mean, live your life, Kelly. Eat eat what you feel. I respect that. But Kelly got me thinking about everything that I eat in a day, which, let's be honest, has gotten a whole lot more interesting now that I can't leave my apartment. So here I am in bed. Um, unfortunately, there's no food here, of course. So why don't you follow me to the kitchen and let's get started. Morning coffee is one of my most important food and or beverage moments of the day. So that's where we're starting on this bright spring sunny day where most of us will spend the entire day inside watching Tiger King on Netflix. I'm actually in a bit of a bind coffee wise right now, what with not having a lot of spare money to spend on anything that's non-essential. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, just gotta confirm my wine delivery for later. Okay, yeah, 11.30 a.m. sounds great, Jason the wine delivery man. Thank you. Where was I? Oh, yes, coffee. I wouldn't call myself a coffee snob, but I really do prefer to pour myself a nice cup of coffee while holding the entire pot so that I can feel that lift. There's something just really nice about feeling the lift of the coffee pot. So my strategy has been to just drink a little bit each day and then put it back on the burner and then just reheat it each morning. And I can just hear my mother's voice in my head telling me, Kirsten, how dare you stoop so low to drink refried coffee? And I want to say to her mother, I am an artist and this is what I must do to survive. And God, if you would just hold on for like two seconds, I'll explain to you how I dress it all up. So being under a stay at home order has given me this like incredible opportunity to make use of all of the leftover creamers and powders that I have in the back of my pantry. So that's what we're going to be using today. So my objective is to take this burnt coffee that currently tastes like, oh, I don't know, like charred toast. And I want to turn it into something that faintly resembles a Girl Scout cookie. So I'm going to start by pouring myself a big cup of coffee, got some chia seeds. These are supposed to be really good for fiber. Got, uh, some cinnamon, uh, coconut, you put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. And some cocoa powder, this is going to be really good. And then I also found this old cake, cake cup, the chai latte. So we're just going to see like what this does. Oh, it's a little congealed. And just for good measure, I'm also going to take this cookie and I'm going to crumble it up inside of it. Okay, shall we test it? That's amazing. Kind of tastes like eating a charred cookie off of the bottom of your oven, but like better than you would think. So once I'm finished making my morning coffee, it's time for breakfast and my first appointment of the day. So for breakfast, I like to try and eat something that's comforting to me. So when the stay at home order was first issued, I went to the store and panic bought all of these Chewy Chips Ahoy and Nutty Buddies in order to kind of give me a sense of comfort. I really like them best when I dip them in this 
kind of sour, but it's mostly just tangy carton of Greek yogurt that I have. Mmm. It's, it's really, really good. Like, savory and sweet. So I'm sure that you're wondering what my very important first appointment of the day is. Well, since I am an actor, I think that it is very important that I stay deeply connected to other actors that I respect. And so I've made a schedule so that I can watch all of Timothy Chalamet's cinematic ouvre while I'm in quarantine. So today, today is round three of Little Women. Yes. Oh, hey, Pancake. That's my assistant, Pancake. God, God, I, I love Florence Pugh. Joe, Joe should have married Lori. You know, don't, don't at me. It's time for first bath. Now, I think that personal hygiene is incredibly important in a world health crisis. So I have started taking two baths a day because I don't want any of those little Rona germs to find their way on me. The only thing that makes a bath better than just a bath is bath plus snack. That is better than bath plus snack. There's nothing better than bath plus snack. So today, I'm having some baby carrots that are dipped in um, Gatorade and then and also dipped in this uh, margarita salt that I found that I didn't know that I had. You see it? It's shaped, it's shaped like a little hat. You can't see any but or else Facebook will take it down. Okay, so here I am in the corner of my house that has the best lighting so that I look incredible for my FaceTime date with Thad from Tinder. Thad from Tinder and I matched because we're both out of work actors who care very, very deeply about art. A-R-T, that spells art. So for our first FaceTime date, we watched all of Tiger King together, which actually went really well. And so for our second date, I suggested that we read a hot scene from Shakespeare. Um, so Thad really only reads David Mamet plays. I know, such a drag. And so I compromised with Shakespeare, who is, you know, also white and male. So we're going to read the scene between Rosalind and Orlando. So in this scene, Rosalind, who is in love with Orlando, is disguised as a man and she tells Orlando, who thinks that she is a man, that she's going to cure him of his love sickness. For my date snack, I really need cute food, so I've got this popcorn here with me, and then I also have some sriracha. Look, I made a heart with the sriracha. So cute, so cute. <gasps> Here he is now, Dad from Tinder. Oh, watch this, you're never gonna believe this. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, this is Kirsten. Oh, no, sorry, but Kirsten I'm looking for is a girl.